So now, first of all, you will see this kind of uh, error, which says code bind is not a sudo file, right? This is because uh, we need to add code bind into the list of sudoers or we need to provide all the privileges to our new users which uh, we have created right the root user have all the privileges but we have logged into our operating system as the new user in my case it's code bind so to solve this just write su space uh, hyphen and then press enter and and then give your root password which you have provided at the time of installation so I'm going to provide that and then press enter and you can see now I am logged in as a root user right earlier I was logged in as a code bind user and now I have been logged in as a root user right here what we need to do is I need to give this command vi sudo and then press enter which is going to open this kind of file and here when you will scroll down a little you will see a list of uh, all the privileges to the root user you can see root user have all the privileges here so here what I will do is I will just select this line right click and copy this line and on the next line I'm going to paste this so right click and paste the same line and you can see we are logged in as a code bind user right so we want to give the privileges to code bind user in my case Whatever you see here before at the rate Debian, you need to provide the same name instead of root on the next line. So here I'm going to just give code bind here. Once you have given all the privileges to the user you have created, just press Control O and then press Enter and then Control X to exit out. To verify that your changes are saved, once again give vi sudo command and once again go to the same location. And if you see your uh, new user have all the privileges line, then your changes are saved. So press Ctrl X once again. So now I'm going to exit out of this uh, root user. So now I'm uh, logged in as this code bind user once again, right? And now I'm going to give the same command, which is sudo apt update and then press enter and then give my Debian's password and then press enter. And it's going to start the update this time. And you can see everything is up to date.